I'm back up here where the uh, 220 is on the little sand quicksand. I'm going to call that quicksand because it most likely it is. Well, I'm about to venture out there and find out how soft it is. Uh, we now have three siphons in here. You can see how much water's flowing in here. And there's another creek over there. It's raining again, as always, like it always does. But uh, a lot of water flowing in here. So I had three siphons. Uh, we put the six back in here. We had to use that yesterday for the uh, overflow pond project. So brought that back up here and got it set up. So it should help take care and drain this down. I'm going to try to go out here today and at least make a cut down this edge and get the creek on that side so I can start laying all this sand up here to kind of dry out some. Don't exactly know what I'm getting into. That is, was dug five or six foot deep. So hopefully my mats will spread the weight out and I should be able to track out there. I hope that is the plan, but I won't know until I start making my way out there and uh, hopefully it doesn't turn to quicksand. And I'm a little concerned with the amount of water that's flowing in that, you know, when you, it'll seem solid, but when you start driving over it, it can just liquefy. So I'll just have to uh, use my experience and just take it easy. So let's see what's gonna happen. I raised the windshield up because it kept fogging up. I got wet. And now, I evidently I'm steaming, causing the windows to fog up. Let's see what's going to happen out here. <laughs> I didn't hit anything solid. We want to be careful out here. We are going to have to be careful. I think if I go out here and don't disturb it, I'll be fine. But if I dig it and get it broke up, I'm a little concerned.
I get out here because all oh, this is kind of as the water's gone over it, it's uh, compacted it down. I mean, it's liquidy, but it's still pretty solid until you disturb it. But right here at the end is where it's, it's extending the sandbar out and it's not solid. over there clearing all the branches. Think about two more. I'm going to be going to get a little hippy then. Thank you. 
tell all the coarser sand was deposited up there and it just kind of kept pushing all the sediment over to this side right here.
by the time we uh, leave today, I'll be able to walk on that over there once the water gets off of it. That's one thing nice about this stuff. It dries out that quick once you can get the water off of it. Now I want to take and build a little pumper dam right here. Because as I'm digging, I'm going to try to... All that water is going to try to come down this way. I don't want it to. I don't want it to keep getting on top of that and saturating that. So I'm going to build a little berm right here to kind of hold it back and then that should run over. Maybe. Probably eight, probably about eight years ago, eight to ten years ago. 